Media is more powerful than nuclear bombs in the CCP's unrestricted warfare. Your enemy controls media and social media, bombards you with disinformation and lies 24-7, and censors you from telling the truth. As a result of these covert influence operations, your family, friends, and other innocent people are being harmed or killed. What are you going to do? In April 2020, more than 5,000 followers of the whistleblower movement invested a total of $487 million to a US-based media company with the sole mission of creating a news-focused social media platform to expose CCP's evilness and combat disinformation. This heroic action became a fraudulent scheme in the VICE program. Before we dive into details, let's first answer this question. Why an ordinary investment decision is being regarded as a heroic action? CCP's persecution of dissidents is well documented. However, it is not very well known that the Chinese diaspora who live in democratic countries with the rule of law are also targets of the CCP. According to a staff research report dated August 24, 2018, produced by the U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission, the CCP's United Front Work Department, UFWD, coordinates influence operations overseas to coerce individuals living in free and open societies to self-censor and avoid discussing issues countering the CCP's global narrative. The report also reviewed that the Chinese intelligence services has been coercing overseas Chinese to function as operatives targeting other overseas Chinese in both the United States and other countries. Here is an example. Georgia University student Sulaiman Gu told Radio Free Asia that he was contacted by the Chinese security police who tried to recruit him at the University of Georgia. Gu shared a recording of the phone call with the secret police. But seeing as you are pretty active and you have said various things that have hurt the country and the government, you are definitely a person of interest. We are interested in Guo Wenghui, also in the activities of that little circle of yours, such as how many people are involved in pro-democracy group in the U.S. What the current situation is, and what their events usually consist of. Even worse, the secret police have also repeatedly called up Gu's relatives back home in China frightening them by saying they have blacklisted Gu to be charged with incitement to subvert state power outside China. Gu's story is not uncommon. Chen Yongling, a former diplomat who defected from the Chinese consulate in Sydney in 2005, said the CCP is relentless in pursuing its critics beyond its borders. On the one hand, the CCP threatens and pressures targeted individuals, and on the other hand, the CCP will provide financial rewards to those who cooperate. With the carrot and stick approach, the CCP has also infiltrated within the whistleblower movement. Hence, an investment decision into an anti-CCP media company becomes inherently dangerous, not only for investors themselves, but also for their families and friends in China. This is particularly true for those who still live inside China. Some of them have been harassed, interrogated, jailed, or disappeared due to personal information leaked by the CCP's infiltrators camouflaged as the followers of the whistleblower movement. 99% of these investors are true heroes. They do not simply see this as an opportunity to earn profits. Instead, they view this as their call of duty to help take down the most corrupt, tyrannical, and brutal regime on earth, the Chinese Communist Party. So you see yourself as a, as a hero to no. the Chinese people? No, I'm not a hero. We are we new federal state to build as a new China future the government system. I think we have a lot of heroes. Ye Zhao Ying, you know, this, you know, the this father. Also, the Hao Haigong, also a lot of new Chinese uh, follow me, anti-CCP. They are with the group, uh, join the with group movement, that's a hero. But nobody respect them. They just respect the money and the power. That's why the global have the coronavirus. Same China, it's the CCP take down the Jesus, take down the God, take down the Buddhists. Nobody can have the religion. They just want to use religion is because CCP. You, 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 you must be now, your father, mother, not important. It's Xi Jinping's number one important, right? That's why China loses the faith, loses the religion, loses the human rights. They just follow power and money. Now, this is a very bad, you know, the crowd is coming to the rest of the world, also in America. Same with all the media, just follow money and the power. Don't follow justice. No, no religion, no faith, no justice, no hero. Why all the global people love America? Because Americans have the hero, have justice, have rule of the law, have God, have free religions. Now, America just follow money, follow power. You fear CCP power.